Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of simplifying expressions and order of operations. This is standard 5.4F in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 28 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so the teacher has some pencils in boxes in a bag, and we've got to kind of create an expression here. Look at A, B, C, and D. I see parentheses, I see parentheses, and brackets. So what I want to do here is try to create my own expression from these clues first and then match it up, okay? So has a bag with 36 unbroken, okay? Four boxes with 120 pencils each. Okay, so four boxes with 120 each. Each is going to multiply, okay? So I've got four times 120, right? There are six broken pencils in each box. So there's six broken pencils in each box. So I've got these boxes here, right? So maybe that's what we're looking at. Uh, and then I've got six broken pencils in each box. Okay, so I guess they're taking the, uh, out of the 120, you've got the six, okay? So honestly, that's not going to work. We're going to need this four. That six comes out of the 120, right? So there we go. Let's take the six away. So really there's 114 full pencils. I guess we need to. And then half of the unbroken pencils go into a storage cabinet. Okay, so we've got half of the unbroken pencils. Well, this 36, right, that's the unbroken pencil. Um, so we've got this 36 plus all of this mess. That's going to get you your unbroken pencils because we don't want these broken pencils. And then we cut it in half. And they tell us it's 246. So let's see. I mean, do I have anything that even looks like this? Uh, I'm thinking what's the difference between C and D? C and D look uh, very similar here, right? The uh, the difference, right? So we've got the bracket and the 36. The difference here is just that little, right? Right there. Where does that that extra 6 go? On the outside of the parentheses or on the inside of the parentheses? Okay. Well, first off, my answer here, which might be correct, kind of looks like D. So let's just simplify it, right? And I'll do the D one instead of mine. Does this simplify to 246? If it does, we're good to go. So we're going to do, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And remember that multiplication and division are inverse operations. So you can divide before you multiply. Same with addition and subtraction. I don't see any exponents, but I do see parentheses. And we need to, we're going to divide last because we need to treat this bracket like a parentheses in a parentheses. So first we need to do what's inside that parentheses. 36 plus 4. 120 minus 6 divided by 2. So we're going to take care of that first. 120 minus 6, that's 114. Okay, so I've got the 4 times that 114. And then divide by 2 is just going to have to hang out there. So 114 times 4, that's 6. It's going to be 5, 456. All right, so 36 plus... That's 456. Now I just need to take care of that 36 and the 456 and just cut it in half. So that's going to be 12, 8, 9, 492. So 492. Finally, I can kind of drop my brackets, divided by 2. And let's just see. It's going to be 2. And that's going to be 4. 246. Hey, look at that. Our answer here is D.